Well, good evening. This is the first report in a few days. This is Monday night. Um, tomorrow morning it will be an entire week since I had the surgery and things are going well. You learn a lot of little things about post-op when you, when you do this. First of all, um, when they say that they're going to fill you full of fluids so that they can distend the shoulder and, and be able to work inside it, well, they really mean they're going to fill you flu fill of fluids and um, you spend the next few days just <laughs> getting rid of them and I mean like every hour on the hour. So that's what that's what that part of this has been, has been like. Um, sleep for the first few days was was really not good at all but it's gotten much better. It has to do with timing and pain management and, and trying to make sure that you're sufficiently tired when you um, you know start to try and work your your sleep schedule so but I have been getting in a lot of um, episodes of heroes which is nice now the other thing that might be on some people's minds is well when you, do you get back to playing well that's a good question and I guess it's up to everybody to do whatever they would under this particular circumstance now I my range of motion okay just for comparison here's my left hand and now here's what my right hand can do. So normally I hold my whole, my head up when I play, but I've had to make adjustments even before the surgery just to kind of get used to what, to what that would be like. And if you have a couple of things, it does make practicing possible. Um, one of them is this bent mouthpiece. And yes, like this, it looks uh, completely straight, but then when I turn it on this, you'll notice that it is bent. Now normally a bent mouthpiece is for people who play down low to go this way so that the horn angle is up that way. But for me, conveniently, it works out so that I can use it to bring the angle of my horn down so that the valves will work. Now the problem is, is that my hand will only go that far. So even with, with the regular trumpet valves, it wouldn't work very well. So I um, brought home one of the orchestra rotary valve trumpets, which has the, um, the, the valves over to the side a little further. So what I'm able to do is just hold like this, and it's actually a fairly nice fit, but I do have to tuck my, my chin and my head down, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> Yes, that is my dog. <laughs> that is my dog who accompanies me whenever I do this sort of thing. So that's what's going on, trying to get a, a few, new, few notes in here and there, getting the sleep schedule, eating just fine, uh, showering, doing all kinds of stuff. I can even give you a little partial strip show and uh, show you where some of the wounds are from this surgery. That's one of them right there. I think that's, yeah, there are a couple of them. It's right there, as you can see. There are another... Um, couple where they went through the the other sides but anyway so that's post-op life for me um, have a good evening day whatever and uh, until the next update see you later bye bye